What's up, DNA gang? Y'all, I know the name. How y'all doing the today, day. man? Today we got Spike in the school lemonade. So if you ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Cue the intro. Yeah, yeah. Let me draw the boat, bitch. You know I wreck the shit. I wreck. Get it by the boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night to. Before we get into this, hit that subscribe button. And a notification bell so you don't. Miss another video. Go show Nate our real channel some love down in the description. Let's get right into it. They wow. Right. Because we think Spike put alcohol in it. Remember, Lassitive. Call him. That's tough. No, my job is going to be putting that right. in the lemonade. But you got to ring the fire alarm. What? Just think about it. If you pull the alarm, everyone's going to leave the premises, which leaves the whole cafeteria to me. You know. <sighs> I did hear something about this happening like years ago. I don't know if it, I don't know how true it was, but like somebody has spiked like some drink in the school and like everybody in there was, oh. If it's not closed, I ain't drinking it. Everybody was in the hallway, everything. Right. Oh my God. Even when I go to parties, if it's punch, I don't drink it. I would quit my job. I'm not cleaning that. Mm -hmm. For the return of the school year. Gaming, no more chilling, time to hit those books. Ooh, Tragic. Wait, no more late nights. Mm -hmm. Pop quizzes, group projects, final exams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I figured, damn, damn, already, man, I hate. You know, I was talking to Nate the other day and I was telling her, I never studied for a test, literally, and I've never failed a class. You know, well, I would, tr go ahead. I failed English with a 69 my freshman year because I wasn't showing up to class. But so think about so, it. So that's not you not, with, not studying for right. something. But it's think about it. If I would have show showed up and I would have got the assignments done, you I would have got. Fine. I probably would have got a 90 something. But I got a 69 for, and I wasn't showing up to class. I went to court that year too for that shit. Damn, okay. I did. Okay. But see, <laughs> I didn't. I I would study. But I don't know how to study. Right. Like I don't know what I was studying. I was just basically rereading shit. I guess that was considered studying. You know, I think I had an attendance problem because even it was either sixth or seventh grade. I had a sixteen in English because I wasn't showing See, up. I hated English class. It was just so boring. What's wrong with him? <laughs> it was so boring. <laughs> like if I'm gonna be asleep, I might as well just not be there. But that's how he is now. <laughs> See, returning to school usually means that some kid somewhere in the world was entering high school for the very first time. I'm talking. <laughs> high school was a break for me. I love high school. Year that's the initiation. Must be my freshman year was cold. Last little boy to a man's league, a league full of pipe playing, chicks clubbing, me car taking high schoolers. And what's that one thing high schoolers love? Pranks. Well, here's the thing: these pranks are supposed to be innocent. A way for seniors to say goodbye to high school and at the same time to no, ours was the of ours, going out or no? With a bang. It was throwing bleach oh, oh, balloons. Was it ours or was that the year? Or was that, that the was, class that before? That was ours. They were throwing bleach balloons with piss in them. Man, and they it hit, was and it they, was bleach, it was piss, it was water. You never knew what you was going to get hit with, and you could not walk in the hallway. So we decided to walk outside all day. All day, <laughs> I'll be <laughs> damned. Yeah, I trust that. Remember, we knew somebody that got hit with right. with a bleach now, balloon. Hey, not on my five hundred ones and my pro. Man, it went not, all in not my hair and everything. Teachers got hit with piss. Oh, it was bad. Not on me. Not on me. Not on me. You gotta have. Vicious, of having the greatest senior prank in high school history. That, my God, is where this story begins. So, for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to my high school years. So, it was the last week of high school, right before summer break, not the last week of school consistent EOGs, report cards, and of course, senior pranks. Now, my school was known for having lame pranks. Kids would put Vaseline on I think knots, put chairs in When did we have the, the, the last put three weeks of school? We really didn't have to be there. Mm -hmm. Different. So we're it was all full of bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't there. Senior prank idea. But wait, we're not a senior. I don't even remember it like that. Oh, I, I remember doing the elephant walk. Right. <laughs> oh, you small, small. Now the brilliant idea was to go to the local store, get some fake Laxatives and what a person takes when you're constipated. Mm -hmm. Not very mm -hmm. genius idea, right? It's with the greatest school prank of all time. But at the same time, practically impossible to accomplish. So we get to the crib and start planning the mission. Alright, 
first. I gotta get to the store and buy the last of it. Let me a few dollars. A few dollars? It's your idea. Come on. Right. Man, bro. You broke. Bro. Right. No money. I right, fine. So we get the same allowance. Gets to right. the store, purchases a few last of this, and comes back to the crib. All right, Tim, here's the plan. First, we gotta skip class. Then slide to the cafeteria, pour the laxative. But remember, can't get caught. Damn. That's Easier said tough. than done. Now, my job mm. is gonna be putting the laxative in the lemonade. But you gotta ring the fire alarm. What? Just what? think about it. If you pull the alarm, everyone's gonna leave the premises, which leaves the whole cafeteria to me. Right. Wow. But, but they got cameras showing me that. doing it. I got you, my G. So I'm gonna. Nah. And it's the next day. All right, Tim, it's almost lunch. Time to ask permission to use the bathroom. So I look at Rufus, he looks back, and we both knew it's game time. Excuse me, Miss Thompson, can I use the bathroom? Sure. So get outside, get to the hallway. All right, the closest far alone is, oh, next to the principal's office. Damn, Tim. All right, get it together. We came too far to fall back now. Mm -hmm. So get to Mr. Johnson's office, look around, and no one was in sight. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, scared. Can't wait for his plan to work. Okay, cool. Tim's gone. That's my turn. So Rufus goes to Miss Thompson, comes up with the perfect excuse of not feeling well, causing her to give him the permission to go to the front office. Come on, Tim, hurry up. We don't have much time. What are you doing here? Mr. Johnson, why are you out of class? Well, I needed to use the bathroom. The bathroom's that way. Oh, yeah. You sure oh, right. Tim, hurry up. I can't sit here too long. Someone's going to find me. Damn. What the hell? What you no, do? No, because see, what you do? But see, that's the thing. Because at our school, if you got caught with that, you wasn't walking the stage. They was a strict. They was. It was on ass. So you couldn't do nothing. I mean, you can sneeze wrong. Right. I, you out. And that's within the last few weeks of school. All right, effort. I'm going for it. So Rufus sneaks into the cafeteria, looks around. Okay, cool. The coast is clear. No, where's the lemonade? Hmm. There it is, but damn, the lunch lady's right in front of it. Come on, Tim, break the fire alarm already. You know what? Get it. I'm Why he couldn't read one? I hope Ruffles aboard the mission, because I'm back in class. My God. Oh, sh now he did it. Okay, kids, you know the drill. Everyone leave the class and get to the closest exit. So we get outside, complete the drill, get back to class, and then the bell rings. It's finally lunchtime. Now, um, Shook. Damn, he drunk some of the goddamn lemonade. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few moments later, I see Rufus. The Rufus, did you do it? Fool on um, him. So I finished my food and then started watching all the kids drink the lemonade. Oh, it's about to get hold, hold up. I gotta use the bathroom before they stink it up. I'm gonna be right back. So I leave the cafeteria, use the bathroom, get back to lunch. What if you put in something else? The bell rings. Onward, and it's an experience. It should be any time now. Boy, it's about to be crazy. Ten minutes goes by. I look around, no one's budging. Damn, how long does it take for the last of them to work? Thirty minutes go by. I look again, still oh, no. no one's moving. Nothing yet. Then an hour goes by. Suddenly, I told you to put in something else. Someone's growling. Oh, 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 oh what the fuck? What did you put in here? Do? Then it all hit me. What I tell you, I'm right <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, that's what's up. I don't think you heard me. Yeah. Except on a public bathroom. No tissue. Yeah, I mean, no you have to go. Oh, I wasn't even going to make it. Put the toilet paper cap. Oh, man. Uh, play with your mama. Don't play with me. <laughs> Oh, in case you missed it. See, my man Rufus had to change a plan. See, since That's your good. boy fell out on him, the man decided to give vengeance on me. That's right, by adding the laxative to my drink while I was using the bathroom. Ah, oh, oh, the little yeah. okie doke. You got him with the okie doke. Talk about payback. <laughs> you got him. I told you he added to something else. Ain't shit. So, ah. moral of the story. A man's word is his bond. That's why you just deeds, right. not by your words. Right. Very true. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't.
wasn't the type of person that was into like all the school pranks and stuff. Because mm-hmm. like even in eighth grade, like somebody decides to start a full a food fight on the last day of school. Shit. Like that was dumb. Not on my follow one. Yeah, polos. I left the cafeteria. Like <laughs> not you, you're not gonna hit me with no damn food. But so. I did glue Nate to a seat. Whatever, bro. Yeah, some of y'all didn't get to see that because they striked us for it. And they made us take it down. But, but you can actually see it on our Facebook, so it's actually in the description. Hey, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace out. We out of boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night the bitch.